Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC. And here's a little vlog for you guys on this lovely Monday. I hope things are going well for you guys. Hope work isn't going to slow you down. Hope that uh, if you are in summer school or whatever, that you're doing well, that your channels are doing well. Hopefully vacation is going well for you who are on vacation. Hopefully everything is going great for you guys. Absolutely indefinitely. Now, uh... <laughs> I guess this is another quick thank you to say thank you to everyone who attended the live stream. It was, again, a small group. Again, I'm not surprised. I'm sure a lot of people are on vacation or what have you, so I'm not upset. But we still managed to beat Ori and the Blind Forest. It was a lot quicker than I expected it to be, but we did it. We got through the Fire Temple. We beat Koru. Kuro. I don't know. I keep pronouncing that owl's name wrong. But we defeated it. But that also means now that we gotta figure out another game to stream, yes. And I was racking my brain over the weekend trying to think of what games to do. So I figured I'd leave it up to you guys. I'm gonna also do a poll on Twitter if you guys are interested in that as well. Just to get various sides on it. But I have come down to about three or four choices. So first off, I was thinking... Yeah, it's a little backwards for you guys, but uh, the Spyro the Dragon series. This is one of my favorite ones from from childhood. This one I was this game I was super excited for when it first came out, when I first got my PlayStation 1. This series is amazing and uh, I would be planning to doing not just the original Spyro the Dragon, but the other two in the series, Ripto's Rage and You're the Dragon as well. Uh, these are amazing games, absolutely fun. I love dragons to begin with. And a little bit of nostalgia never hurt anybody. Actually, technically all of these are kind of a little nostalgia for me. But I want to give you guys various different choices. Uh, this, uh, I went through and got the strategy guides because I couldn't find the boxes right off the bat. But another one I was thinking of is Okami. Now, I love this game. This is an absolutely gorgeous game. Uh, originally, it was on the PS2. It's now been ported over to the Wii. And I think the controls on that are better, but I would be doing the PS2 version because that's the one I uh, played. It's an awesome, gorgeous, beautiful game. It's really long, definitely, so it would take a long time to get through it on a live stream, especially if I'm going for, like, all stray beads and such. And especially, particularly, if I'm going after Blackhead Grande, which I do intend to do. So this I would definitely be greatly interested in playing as well. But all these I would really like to play. But uh, I want to make sure I get you guys' suggestions first before anything. Uh, the other one I was thinking of is Kingdom Hearts. Particularly at least 1 and 2. Because those are the ones I played the most. Uh, it wouldn't be the remix version for the PS3, obviously. So it would be the original. So, you know, a lot of stuff would be taken out. Because... Japan, for some reason, decided to do uh, extra stuff for their release and only now just started to get it to the U.S. and such. So, But I would be... Uh, this one I would probably end up having to play on Twitch just because Square Enix is a little crazy on their copyright stuff. And the opening to this game, you can't skip and it is heavily copyrighted. So I would probably have to do it on Twitch, but I would still be doing it. But if I do do it on do uh, Kingdom Hearts, I intend to do it on the hardest difficulty. I would be getting the ultimate weapon, and I'd be doing all the secret bosses, including Sephiroth. So that's that. Uh, the other one I was thinking of, just uh, for another quick thing, I don't have a physical copy of it, but I was also thinking Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That's an awesome game. It's very similar to Ori and the Blind Forest. Actually, I think that was part of the whole Metroidvania-style thing that kind of started that. So that's an awesome game as well. I've never played it myself. I've seen Let's Plays of it, but I've never played it myself. So I'd be interested in doing that. So those are the four choices I'm leaving you guys up for what we shall do for a live stream. Um, I'll have a poll on, twi on Twitter as well. And... Uh, I'll have you guys suggest in the, in the comments below what you would prefer. Would you prefer the Spyro series? Like, all three games. Kingdom Hearts. But this one I would have to probably do on Twitch. Just as a heads up. 
but Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Okami, oops, Okami, the book, that work with me here, Okami, <laughs> or Castlevania Symphony of the Night. So, again, let me know in the comments below which one you would prefer. I'll be leaving the poll up on Twitter as well for as long as I can, probably about a week, at least until Friday, when I make my decision, because if I don't get enough feedback on one way or the other, I'm just going to randomly pick. So, thank you again for everybody who's been supportive through this whole thing through the channel. Hopefully, uh, we can come up with some good ideas for this. I'd like to go, you know, your feedback on which games we should continue for streaming, and everything. Well, I just hope everyone's going to have a good day today. So, for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.